So you might have heard the old saying, you don't know what you don't know. Now, throughout my journey of building my own social media marketing agency, well past that six figure mark, I'm becoming a pretty well seasoned digital marketer. I've seen the saying applied time and time again. Quite frankly, looking back over my journey, I realized that there's so many things had I known before, I would have been able to just shortcut my way up to success. And by doing so, save myself a lot of time. And that my friends is what I want to do in this video for you. I want to save you a ton of time and put you on the right path to becoming a top 1% digital marketer, a digital marketer that is highly paid and in high demand. And by doing so, I hope you can accomplish this in a much shorter period of time. And precisely in this video, we're shooting for 42 days, 42 days to become a top 1% digital marketer. In this video, I'm going to share with you five areas that you need to be well versed at and exactly how you can go about doing that. So without further ado, let's go right into it. So the first area that you need to master to become a top 1% Digital Marketer is a paid ad service. Now, if you're new to my channel, a bit of info on my agency. We are an e-commerce agency and our mission is to take any brand and transform it into a market leader. Now, when we as an agency come into a brand's ecosystem, we take a look at all the areas that I'm going to cover in this video. However, we have a specific focus on one single service and that is our paid ad service, which in our case is Facebook ads. One of the things that I preach about in my channel a lot is that you need to make sure you only pick one single paid ad service that you focus on to get results for your clients. The great thing about these paid ad services is that they're there to generate revenue for the client. And so it's by far the easiest service to sell because it actually has a very clear return and because it has a clear return, number two is by far the easiest service to have longevity with because you can keep a client for a long time as long as you're getting the results because the results are very crystal clear. So when it comes to paid ad services, there's a myriad of different services you can pick. And it doesn't have to be just Facebook ads. Facebook ads is a great service. In my opinion, it's by far the best paid ad service right now because the algorithm is just by far superior. But other alternatives that you can look at is Google ads or Snapchat ads. Now, a great way to get an introduction to the services is obviously number one, shameless plug, my YouTube channel. But there are also other ways that are completely free. For example, the Facebook blueprint for Facebook ads. For example, the Google Skill Shop for Google ads or for example, Snap Focus for Snapchat ads. So that is the first area that you need to master. The final thing that I will say on this area is that it is not everything. A lot of digital marketers and agency owners think that Facebook ads is just everything. And especially if you're building an e-com agency where you're helping e-commerce businesses grow, you need to make sure that you understand the four areas that I'm gonna cover in just a few seconds. And also understand that these four areas actually feed into the performance of your paid ad service. So paid ads is not just the be all and end all. And with that being said, let's go right into point number two. Now, the second area that you want to master is funnels. And you might have heard this word thrown around a bunch in this space. But essentially what a funnel is, is the sales process that a prospect, someone who doesn't really know about your brand or your client, takes to become a customer of theirs. And so as a digital marketer or as an agency owner, what do you want to do before running any Facebook ads, right? Before running any paid ads campaigns, what do you want to make sure you do is you go ahead and draft the sales funnel for that prospect. What is the sales process a customer is going to take to become a customer of your client? And as I said, it's very important that you strategize before you even start, because if you don't have a plan of attack, then it's actually going to be very hard to get results for your clients. So if you want to learn about funnels, I personally recommend Russell Brunson. It's not a paid sponsorship. It's nothing like that. I just love his books, to be honest. And to be quite frank with you, I recommend all of his books. Uh, start with dotcom secrets, then go on to expert secrets and then end it with traffic secrets. Uh, and that will give you a very good idea of the sales funnels, the whole concept, and really how to start thinking like a funnel builder and really engineer your sales process for success. So that is the second area. And now onto the third area. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Before we get into the next area, I just want to ask you a very quick question. Are you enjoying this video so far? Are you taking any value out of it? If you are, go ahead and smash the like button. You might have seen your favorite YouTubers plug this, but trust me when I say this, we really, really appreciate it. So go ahead and smash the like button. And with that being said, I'll let you get back to the video. The third area that you want to master is the ad copy plus the creative side of launching Facebook ads. I'm actually going in order of what it actually takes to have a very successful campaign for a client or for a brand. And writing compelling copy that sells is a massive part of that. Now, for those of you who are completely new to the space, the ad copy is basically the written text that goes with an image or a video as an ad. And it's actually incredibly important. I feel like a lot of people completely neglect the importance of the ad copy, but the ad copy is there to hook them in trigger their emotions, tap into their pain points and walk them through this emotional journey where we bring awareness to their problem, present the solution and then sell them our product. And so it's incredibly important that you understand how to create compelling copy that sells 
both long form and short form. The final thing is, especially if you're doing e-commerce brands, it's very important that you understand how to create high converting creatives and particularly video ads. You guys might have been served the typical e-commerce ad while just simply browsing the internet. And if you actually take a look at them, they all follow the same structure. And there's a very specific reason to that. So you really want to understand the basic structure of an e-commerce ad and how in one to two minutes, you can literally sell a product over the internet to someone who's never heard about that brand. It's a very high ROI activity and it's definitely something that I recommend and with that being said, onto the fourth area. So for the fourth point, I want you to imagine the following situation. Let's just say that you're running the Facebook ads for one of your clients and you've spent $10,000 to bring in 10,000 people to the website, which is exactly $1 per LPV, which stands for landing page view. Now, let's say that 2% of these people are actually going to convert right? So that would be 200 people and they each spend $100 as an average order value. So that would generate $20,000 in sales, in revenue from the paid ads. Now let's go ahead and imagine that just the checkout process for that website or even the landing page takes way too long to load or it just doesn't really have many reviews, much social proof or much authority. Let's imagine now that you solve some of these things and by doing so you increase the conversion rate to 3%. That means that for 100 people that land on the website, three of those people convert. So that would actually mean that out of the 10,000 people that we've driven to the website, 300 people would have actually converted into a customer. Spending around 100 bucks, the average order value still the same, right? That would actually yield $30,000 in revenue, which is a $10,000 difference, which is a pretty big difference, especially given that we've only increased the conversion rate by 1%. And that, my friends, is the power of website optimization, CRO, conversion rate optimization. And it's the fourth area that you need to be well-versed at if you wanna become a top 1% digital marketer in the next 42 days. And why is this? Well, if you're driving traffic to a website, let's just say that you're serving, for example, e-commerce brands and you're helping them grow their uh, business online using the power of Facebook ads, right? If you're driving all this traffic to their website, we wanna make sure that that traffic converts as highly as possible because yes, you might not be getting paid for the website optimization, right? If you're building a landing page for them, yes, you would wanna charge them for that, but if you're not even charging them for that, it is in your best interest to make sure that their website is fully optimized, adding a bit more reviews, making the a checkout process more seamless. Just a 1% increase in conversion rate could yield hundreds of thousands of dollars extra that you can account for your service. So that is the fourth area that you need to master that's really gonna take things up a level for you. And now onto the final area. The final area that the top 1% digital marketers master is email marketing. Just to give you a bit of an idea as to the magnitude and the importance of email marketing, email marketing should actually account for 20% of the total revenue for e-commerce brands. And let that sink in for a second. Email marketing should be an inherent part of the sales process that you design for a client. Even if you're not charging for email marketing, you're just charging, for example, for Facebook ads, you should give them tips on creating automated flows, creating dynamic segments, creating lists, et cetera, et cetera. And I personally recommend you do this on Klaviyo. I will leave a link down below with all the resources from this video where you can check out Klaviyo completely for free, where you can actually check out Klaviyo. But if you have e-commerce clients or you're trying to grow a brand online, it is by far the best platform to do email marketing. And not only that, but they also have incredible education resources where you can learn more about how to create flows, what to write on emails, what type of templates to use, the aesthetics, et cetera, et cetera. And so that, my friends, is the fifth thing that you need to be well versed at to become a top 1% digital marketer in the next 42 days. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. YouTube just lost from that gray little thumbs up at Turns Blue. So YouTube would absolutely love it and I would really appreciate it. Also leave down below in the comments any questions you may have on this video. Go ahead and sub to my channel if you haven't already for more content on entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and social media marketing agency with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your agency, you can go ahead and check it down below. There's nothing for sale and I've just been getting incredible feedback on it. People literally taking the scripts, the templates, the strategies that I walk you through on this one hour in the masterclass and implementing them to get incredible results for their agency. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your digital marketing journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.